Alright, welcome back. To, uh, this is uh, part three of the house modeling tutorial. <clears throat> Hopefully you saved your uh, uh, file. And uh, so anyway, uh, we're going to, let's go ahead and hide this side. Uh, in this part of the tutorial, we're going to go ahead and start cleaning up this geometry. Uh, we've got some end gons here. Uh, if you don't know what ingons are, that's something we'll touch on in another uh, tutorial <clears throat> down the road. Uh, and if I didn't mention it before, we're going to build this house in in different parts. Some some pieces uh, we'll leave together, and and some pieces we won't. And the main purpose for that is. Uh, I would like to show you a, a lot of the tools and also to kind of keep our um, geometry easy to work on and and also to keep our poly count down. I've really been studying uh, game modeling for games lately and uh, that's kind of where I'm at and that's uh, another reason I'd like to do that do it that way. Okay, with well, that being said, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Okay, we need to uh, select this this end of the house with our dormers on it, and let's go to face selection, and let's go ahead and uh, select our faces here. And if if you're new to hexagon and you don't know, um, you can hold the shift key to make multiple selections and re uh, retain. Uh, your first selection or we could just go in here and just paint select anyway uh, if, if you remember in the first part of the tutorial we used the extract tool so with these dormers selected we're going to go ahead and extract those from our geometry so I've done that and as you can see uh, that uh, created another object here and um, that is our uh, dormers. Let's go ahead and uh, see this called Form 5 and if you look up here in the uh, properties panel you'll see Form 5 Form five up here and what we need to do is just highlight that and let's go ahead and name it dormers. And then hit enter. As you can see that changed the name down here. Let's go ahead and hide those and select Form 8. I'm not sure what it'll be on in your file, but it's called Form 8 in mine. So, uh, this is the part of the tutorial where uh, I really wanted to show you some things about cleaning up this geometry. Uh, there are several, since this is going to be a, a single piece, um, we don't need all these loops and edges and points uh, and there's several ways we could clean it up uh, one of those ways let's just go ahead and show you now so uh, we can we're in point selection mode and we can use the uh, weld points tool which is here under the modeling uh, vertex modeling tab we just click on that and then we can go in here and uh, let's see here, select several points and they'll just, that'll just merge them. And we could just um, work our way around there. And, oops, caught an extra one there somehow. I don't want to catch too many. Um, I, you probably noticed I just did a, a lasso selection, and that's something that um, I will probably need to touch on uh, in another video how to do that.
Okay. And after you uh, collapse all those, then you can just go here to Edge Selection and do a Loop Selection and Backspace and then All. And uh, anytime you uh, dissolve an edge like that, you really need to go back into uh, Point Selection mode and kind of go around your geometry here and make sure that you don't have a bunch of leftover uh, points. Okay, let's go ahead and back this up. That's one. That was one way to do it. Let's go ahead and hide these dormers. Uh, probably the fastest and most one of the most simple ways to uh, rebuild this um, part of the geometry here would be to use uh, the facet tool and snapping. So let me show you how to do that. Uh, you need to go down here and make sure that you've got uh, point snapping turned on and choose your facet tool and we'll just select here this corner this corner oh something else I forgot to mention uh, before you uh, start build rebuilding this geometry make sure that you do not have that selected because if you well, I'll just show you um, if we have this part of the geometry selected and we start building uh, uh, some new faces here it all becomes part of the same geometry and we don't want that we're, we're rebuilding it so okay as you can see that uh, gives us a new piece there so now if you hide that you can see that we've got new geometry going there go ahead and validate that and hide this so <clears throat> that gives us half of it there to instead of going in there and and uh, remodeling all that we'll just use a uh, symmetry tool here and you'll find that under the vertex modeling tab and we'll click symmetry and we'll just click on this side of it here and if you'll remember I believe it was in the last video that I showed you about uh, reverse normals <clears throat> and using the symmetry tool how that uh, always seems to flip the normals but most of the time if you're doing a, a mirror symmetry mirror uh, then after you select both of those uh, mirrored parts and weld them together it usually <clears throat> corrects those normals. So I've merged those together and now we're just gonna go back in here with the facet tool again and just go ahead and um, finish rebuilding this. Okay, that Turn this back on. Turn our derm dormers on. Oh yeah, we'll need to. We need to. Since we've got a triangle right here, we need to go ahead and split this other edge right quick. So I'm gonna go to edge selection, select these two edges, and I'm gonna tap my X key to create a face along there. So, anyways, you see we got a hole down here. Um, we could just go ahead and let's see. Let's turn off this bottom grid. And by the way, you can turn off your grids um, under the scene panel uh, under properties. Um, we'll go to edge selection and select these two edges, and then use the bridge tool to bridge across there. So we do need, uh, well, let's not do that. Uh, let's go ahead and 
First of all, let's hide uh, this and the dormers and that end. Okay, there's our original geometry for this end. So I'm going to just uh, make sure I have it selected and go to object selection and I'm just going to delete it. Turn those back on. And I want to take form 7 and form 2. Let's see here if I can select those. I had to use a sh control key and then select those. I'm just going to go ahead and weld those together. And if you remember uh, the weld tool, you can find it under the vertex modeling tab and the surface modeling tab. Just basically merges those uh, two objects together. So now as you can see, those two objects now become one. It's form nine. Let's go ahead and name it. Let's just name it, uh, I don't know, main. We'll just call it main for the main part of the structure. Okay. We really are not going to need these bottom faces for now. If we if we need them later on, we'll rebuild them. So I'm just going to select those faces and delete them. So anyway, that's uh, where we're at. Let's go ahead and fix this while we're down here and let's see let's build it just like that one I don't know why we're just gonna do it for now I'm gonna select uh, this point and this point tap my X key and we'll select these edges here tap the X to create a new edge in the middle of that geometry right there Okay, I think uh, we've taken long enough in this part of the video, so we can go ahead and uh, pick up in part four. Hopefully I didn't go too fast. If you have any questions, please leave a, a comment on YouTube, or if you're a Days 3D uh, member of the Hexagon Forum, just uh, feel free to ask me a question there, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So that's it for uh, part three and uh, we'll drive on in uh, part four so have a great day